Welcome to Core, Glutes, and Stretch on the Mat. For this class, you'll want to have a yoga mat and a yoga block if available to you. It's okay if you don't have that. Just make sure you're on a carpeted floor. And for the stretching portion, you'll need a yoga strap. If you don't have that, you could use a sheet, a towel, or perhaps even a belt. During this class, you'll note there's three different head positionings you can choose to use. You can be lying flat on the floor, head resting on the floor. You can choose to put your head on a block. And the most challenging position would be being on your forearms. When you are there, please make sure your cervical spine is elongated. Let's start by bicycling our legs forward. It's not important how many you do, but it's important that you do it as slowly as you can. You make it more challenging bringing the legs lower towards the floor. Now let's reverse. If you find your shoulders rising up, you can turn your hands upward to relax the shoulders. Now, Let's begin by lifting our legs up and taking one heel down to the floor and then the other. Go as slowly as you can. If you start to feel that back lifting up, you may want to bend your knees a little bit to protect the spine or only go down as low as you can. Challenge yourself even more by closing your eyes intermittently. See if you can improve your proprioception by having the feet come up and be even. Now, bringing those legs up, we're going to bicycle forward again. This time we're demonstrating with our head on the block. Again, you can choose your position. Now let's just begin to move ourselves into a full body stretch, taking a little bit of time to relax, putting the hands overhead, possibly reaching those arms back behind you as far as you can and pointing the toes away from you and relax. Now back with our head on the block, lifting the legs long, touching one heel to the floor and then the other. And don't forget, you can close your eyes intermittently, see if you can make those feet even. And now, moving into our most challenging position, Go ahead and bicycle the legs forward. And reverse. Now let's just take a moment and stretch, bringing both knees in. Then extending the legs and bring that left knee back in and stretch, decompressing the spine. Circle the ankle if you choose. And switching legs. Now going back up onto our forearms, touching one heel to the floor 
and then the other. Now just going in to a stretch, bringing both knees in, and then into a full body stretch. Now as we're in this full body stretch, arms overhead, you can reach with the hands away from the feet and push the toes away from the head, stretching the entire body. And now let's move into our plank challenge, taking yourself over onto all fours to begin. As you get into position, we're going to take those forearms down to the floor, bringing the legs back. You may want to not have your shoes on for this portion. We're going to glide forward and back, moving the ankles and the shoulders. And now we'll move into a little mini cobra just to stretch for a moment. And now going into our second rocking plank challenge. Getting into position, taking those legs long and rocking forward and back. And now moving into a little mini cobra to stretch. And our last plank challenge, rocking forward and back. Moment to go onto your back as we begin our gluteal challenge. Starting with the feet as close as you can get them to your gluteals, knees are bent, feet are flat on the floor, lifting up from the hips. You can turn the palms up if you feel like your shoulders are going up towards your ears. And now let's move to our second position on our heels. Same movement. And taking it down. Feet are flat again. Third round. Lifting up and then just bringing one side of your buttocks down and then the other. This is a great exercise to get mobility in the hips and a proper walking pattern. And our last set, going up onto the heels, lifting up, and then dropping one side of your buttocks down to the floor, and then back up, and then the other side.
And just going back into our stretch again, bringing both knees in. And extending the legs for a moment. Bringing the left knee in, stretching that low back and the glutes. Circle the ankle if you choose. And switching sides. And move yourself into child's pose for a nice relaxing stretch. Now as we're in this full body stretch, arms overhead, you can reach with the hands away from the feet and push the toes away from the head, stretching the entire body. And moving into our final stretch for the lower extremities. So get yourself into a position on the floor and have your yoga strap nearby. Let's take that strap under our right foot, grabbing the strap with the right hand or both hands. Just hold that hamstring stretch, bringing the toes to the nose as much as you can. Breathe into it. Now bring that leg forward and back a few times. Contract and relax and hold. Stretch just a bit further. Now, taking the strap in the right hand and moving that leg out to the right side for a nice inner thigh stretch and hold. Make sure both of your shoulders are on the floor. Take some deep breaths and relax. Now bringing that right leg up to center, stretching it in for a little deeper hamstring stretch and breathe. Just taking that leg down, taking the strap off your foot so we can move over to the other side. Now as we're in this full body stretch, arms overhead, you can reach with the hands away from the feet and push the toes away from the head, stretching the entire body. And now for our piriformis stretch, on our right leg, holding the strap with both hands and then taking it in the left arm as you bring that right leg over and across the body, keeping both shoulders on the floor. You can bring that right arm up above your head if you'd like to accentuate the stretch a bit more. Now bringing that right leg back up into a hamstring stretch one more time. Holding the strap with both hands. Relaxing the elbows on the floor if you can. Now removing the strap and going into full body stretch. Now taking that strap under the left foot into a hamstring stretch. 
stretch, release, stretch, release, stretch and hold. You can choose to take that right knee down straight with that leg to accentuate the stretch. Just hold that position. Stretch, relax, stretch, relax, stretch and hold. And now taking that strap in the left hand and moving that left leg out to the side, inner thigh stretch. Breathe deeply and take a moment to relax. Bringing that leg back up into a hamstring stretch one last time. Contract and relax and pull it in, bringing the toes to the nose. And removing the strap. And now moving into a piriformis stretch, bringing that strap back on top and around that foot, and then crossing that left leg over the body, grabbing the strap in the right hand, keeping both shoulders on the floor. And you can accentuate the piriformis stretch by taking that left arm above your head. Now bringing that left leg back up, grabbing the strap with both hands and pulling the leg in to accentuate that hamstring stretch. And then taking the strap off and moving into our final stretch of the class, full body stretch. 